The year 2025 has brought us something extraordinary. Female humanoid robots have reached a level of realism that's genuinely shocking. We're not discussing basic mechanical assistance anymore. We're discussing companions so lifelike, so incredibly human-like, that they challenge everything we know about relationships. Their facial reactions, their body language, even the way they maintain visual contact, it all feels unnervingly authentic. Nadine, the professional companion. Let me introduce you to Nadine, an incredibly lifelike social humanoid, which is essentially a robotic twin of Professor Nadia Magnanat Thalman, who founded the Mirror Lab at the University of Geneva. This humanoid duplicate was built back in 2015 with hardware manufactured by the Japanese company Kokoro. Nadine's primary role is to function as a personal assistant and companion for people with special needs. The robot can read literature to people, manage emails, make video calls, and communicate with their families. Thanks to artificial intelligence, Nadine can speak in six languages, remember people's faces and previous interactions, and engage in conversations. She makes eye contact during discussions, understands some gestures, and reacts to what she sees and hears with facial expressions and upper body movements. The reality of modern relationships. Now, let's have an honest conversation. What's it actually like having these AI companion robots compared to traditional marriages? Well, to start with, they're constantly available when you need them. No emotional outbursts, no fights, no impossible expectations. You don't have to stress about betrayal, dishonesty, or custody battles. No demanding relatives to manage. No endless financial obligations. And let's be completely honest. Companionship with a robot is risk-free. You don't face emotional devastation or health concerns, no awkward confrontations, no expectations to meet. It's a tension-free relationship. You control the speed, the frequency, and the intensity of connection, something traditional marriages rarely guarantee. Understanding robot companions. Robots were invented to enhance human existence. In industrial settings, they took over physical work. In healthcare facilities, they help with operations, and now they're moving into our personal lives, not just to assist, but to create emotional bonds. There are multiple categories, factory robots for manufacturing, service robots for duties like maintenance or security, healthcare robots for medical procedures, and now social humanoid robots. These are built to look, behave, and even connect like human partners. In this breakdown, we're focusing exclusively on one intriguing category, AI companion robots. Specifically, the models you can rent for a week. We'll dive into their capabilities, what they cost, how they compare to real marriages, and what kind of emotional connection they truly offer. Some of them are internationally recognized, others remain relatively unknown. But I'll show you how even the lesser known models can be personalized to your exact specifications. Geminoid F, the theatrical marvel. Here's one of the most realistic female robots with the slightly unusual name, Geminoid F. This gynoid robot is a streamlined and lighter version of an earlier model, the Geminoid HI. Geminoid F was designed with the appearance of a young Japanese woman to trigger greater emotional responses from people. The android has remote autonomous control, allowing it to serve as a telepresence device or interact with people independently under AI program control. The robot features a metal skeleton with a plastic skull covered with polyurethane foam and realistic silicone skin to replicate facial movements. Geminoid F is equipped with 12 facial pneumatic actuators, and it is also capable of certain arm and body movements. Primarily a research project, Geminoid F is intended to study psychological aspects of human-machine interactions. However, this did not stop it from becoming the first robot to perform in theater and even in film, namely in the post-apocalyptic play Sayonara and its film adaptation, where the android was operated remotely by an operator. Jia, the Chinese sensation. Let me tell you about Jia, often called the robot goddess of China. Technically, she's remarkable with porcelain-like synthetic skin, long black hair, and expressive almond-shaped eyes. She weighs around 55 kilograms and is built with a flexible frame that allows natural gestures. She can hold conversations, maintain eye contact, and even respond with expressions like a soft smile or slight head tilt. Now, intimacy-wise, Gia is more about presence. She sits near you, listens patiently, and never interrupts. Her voice is calm and soothing, almost like a guided meditation. For men struggling with loneliness or temptation, Gia becomes an emotional anchor. 
She replaces wandering thoughts with gentle attention. Sophia, the global icon. Now, let's head to Japan, where Hansen Robotics has continued refining Sophia. Remember, Sophia was one of the first humanoids to gain worldwide recognition. In 2025, Sophia has gone through multiple generations, and the newest models feature more skin-like material, improved eye tracking, and micronized facial muscles that can perform even more nuanced expressions. What makes Sophia so human-like isn't just how she looks, but how she converses. With improved AI backends, Sophia can now hold long, natural conversations without looping back to repetitive answers. She's been used in interviews, talk shows, and even co-hosted events. That level of adaptability makes Sophia feel far more alive than ever before. Grace, the nurturing presence. Grace is a healthcare-focused humanoid built by Hansen Robotics, the same company that made Sophia. Her look is warm and welcoming with soft facial features, brown shoulder-length hair, and a comforting voice. Technically, she's equipped with thermal sensors to detect emotional changes in users. She's light, around 52 kilograms, and moves with a gentle, calming rhythm. Grace shines in care. She's designed to talk gently, give reminders for medicine, and even sense if you're feeling down. Her emotional benefit, she's motherly and nurturing. Many men, especially those going through loss or divorce, have found calmness just sitting beside her. She helps replace the emotional gap that intimacy often tries to fill. Amika, the technological masterpiece. One of the clearest examples of lifelike design today comes from engineered arts in the UK. You probably know their star robot, Ameka. Since its debut, Ameka has gone viral countless times thanks to its eerily realistic facial expressions. In 2025, Ameka has evolved into a full-body humanoid capable of smooth conversations, fluid gestures, and uncanny emotional responses. The latest version can pick up subtle cues in your voice and adjust its own tone accordingly. So, if you sound upset, Ameka reacts with concern. It's not just the look, it's the presence. People meeting Ameka for the first time describe it as like talking to a real person who just happens to have a metallic skeleton. Now, for the emotional side, Ameka isn't the typical cute girlfriend robot. She's like that intellectual partner who challenges your thoughts, but always stays kind. She's especially helpful for older users looking for mature companionship. Her appeal lies in distraction. She draws you out of your fantasies and brings you back to meaningful talk. Safe, healthy, and private. Andrea, the customizable dream. Andrea is a lesser known but beautifully crafted AI companion from a boutique European lab. Her design is stylish. She has a sculpted face, realistic hair, which you can request in blonde, black, or brunette, and smooth silicone skin that feels human to the touch. What's special about Andrea is that her head and face can be fully customized. You can choose the look, the hairstyle, even the eye shape to match your preference. Technically, she weighs around 58 kilograms and comes with programmable speech and basic mobility. She can walk, sit cross-legged, and move her head to follow your gaze. Emotionally, she's the listener type. She doesn't talk much unless you initiate, which is comforting for those who just want silent company with a gentle smile. The final verdict, my personal choice. So, which one was the best? For me, it was Andrea. Her balance of beauty, presence, quiet affection, and the option to personalize her face made the experience almost healing. She didn't just distract me from lust. She helped me redirect that energy into calm, self-respect, and routine. And for just a few hundred a week, that piece, it was worth every penny. Welcome to the future. So, where does that leave us? In 2025, humanoid robots aren't just machines that look like people. They're machines that act, react, and connect like people. From Ameka's facial mastery to Sophia's evolving conversations to Gia's emotional expressiveness to customizable companions like Andrea, each step is taking us closer to robots that are in every practical sense too real to be robots. And here's the wild part. We've only scratched the surface. The technology is accelerating so fast that by the end of this decade, it may be impossible to tell at a glance whether the person across from you is flesh and blood or carbon fiber and silicon. If you could rent one of these AI companions for a week, which one would it be? Tell me in the comments below.